Hey, what's up guys, Jedeth here, and I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how you can be deciding how you should be upgrading your gear what you should be spending those crests on as you get gilded crests every week or ruined harbinger crests. For example, I have 90 gilded crests that I could spend. Now I could spend that on upgrading a crafted piece or I can invest all of those 90 crests into upgrading some of my gear pieces. I have a headpiece that could still be upgraded, gloves, a belt, legs, trinket, probably some of my other trinkets that I swap in and out. If you have these options presented to you, you want to make the best choice possible that's going to give you the most optimized DPS in the moment, rather than just spending them on what you might think is the best upgrade at the time, but it may not be. This is how you can decide, and this is going to be done through simming. So I'm going to assume you're already familiar with simming. If you're not, I have a video that I posted a couple days ago, maybe last week, that goes over exactly how to sim from the very basics, what add-on you need to get, what website you go to. All of the crucial information is in that video, so I'll put a link to that video down in the description and in the pinned comment. If you're unfamiliar with how to start simming, you can start with that video. So we're going to get our sim C string. We're going to pull it over here into Raidbots. We're going to go to top gear and paste it in. Now, the info that we pasted in knows that we have 90 Gilded Harbinger Crests and 2,000 Valor Stones. So what we can do is scroll down and look at these items that have the potential to be upgraded. So we can see my head, we can upgrade that to six, uh, 639 with 30 Crests. So we're going to sim that. We can't upgrade my neck because it's all the way upgraded. We could upgrade my wrists because they're at 619. So I could invest a whole whack of Gilded Crests to upgrade these to 636. We could upgrade the hands. We could upgrade the belt. We could upgrade the legs. I also have this ring that I could upgrade to 636. And then we have our trinkets here. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to stick with just the, the Mad Queen's mandate. Right now I have that at 619. We could potentially upgrade it to 626. Now doing it this way is only going to be considering the max upgrades for each of these items. If we want a bit more variety in how much we're upgrading each one, we have the option to do that as well. So we could come back here to the headpiece, for example, and instead of clicking on 639, we can also click on 636. You might be asking, why would you want to do that? Why not just take it all the way? Well, so what you can do is take different combinations of upgrades, maybe at lower tiers, and that allows you to upgrade more than one item at a time. So what we're trying to do here is figure out the best combination of upgrades that we can make. It might not be just upgrading one item. It could be upgrading two separate items, just up one tier each, or maybe two in one item and one upgrade in another item. So we can go through this again and we'll go to the gloves, for example. There's a lot of upgrade possibilities here. We currently have it at 626. So we could say, hey, maybe we don't want to go all the way up to 639 because that's going to require 60 of our crests. Maybe we just want to go up to 632 or 636. So we have our options here. Same with the belt. Maybe we don't want to commit 60 uh, Gilded Crests all the way into our belt to upgrade it as high as it can go. We want to select some more variety in the sims that can be done and the upgrades. And this allows us to get a better idea and hopefully a more accurate sim with the combination of items that we can upgrade. So let's do this for the pants as well, just for completion's sake. We're going to go, yeah, that looks good. Let's stick with that. And we can't do this with the crafted items. So our ring and our bracers, we can't do that because there's no in-between. 619 is where you get with ruined harbinger crests. And then 636 is the step up at gilded. So there's no in-between. Okay, and now when we have all of our options selected, we're going to scroll down. Now we're just going to sim patchwork one boss five minutes. This is like the standard basic sim. This is going to give you the most accurate read. You don't want to be doing any fancy sims because that could give you very skewed results. Maybe a certain set of upgrades is going to be, you know, a lot bigger for AOE, but it, it's really not that good for single target and vice versa. Going for single target is kind of just a safe bet. Now, before we do that, I just want to point out that it says some combinations cost more than you currently have. So it's not going to show us combinations that we can't afford. It's only going to be showing us options that we have enough to afford. Combinations of items that we can spend our 90 Gilded Crests to make. Now let's say you didn't want to be restricted to those 90 Gilded Crests that you have. We can scroll all the way up to the top, and here we're able to change how much we have to work with. Now if we do this, if we max out our Gilded Crests and max out our Valor Stones, 
obviously the result of this is just going to say, hey, upgrade every piece you have to the max tier and you're good to go. So we don't necessarily want to do that because that's not something realistic that we can do in the moment. We kind of already know that through logic that taking every item up to max is going to be the best DPS. So we're just going to figure out what we can do with what we have available right now. So let's scroll back down and go to find top gear. Now this is going to sim. It might take a few minutes depending on, you know, your connection or if you have a subscription to raid bots or not. And we'll be back in a second with our results. All right. So we have our results here and let's take a look at what it's going to tell us. So at a quick glance, it's telling us to upgrade the legs and the trinket. So at the top of the list here, we can see that combination of upgrades is the highest possible DPS that we could get from upgrading our gear with whatever currency we have at the moment, which is 90 Gilded Crests. Now this obviously did a lot of combinations of different pieces, but what we can do is click on go to equipped. That's gonna bring us all the way down to what we're currently wearing. And we can see the step up each time and how each different combination of upgrades gives us more and more DPS. Now remember, we did this in a way where we weren't just upgrading every item to the max. We had a little bit of granularity. So we were doing potentially one upgrade in one item, another upgrade in another item, just one tier each or like two tiers. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of different options here and sims that were done. And truthfully, this took me quite a while. This sim took about 10 minutes to do. But all you really need to look at is go to the very top. And this is going to tell you the best combination that you can afford in this moment with 90 Gilded Crests and uh, your 2,000 Valor Stones. And you can see it's only going to cost me 1,000 Valor Stones, thankfully. Now, because this is a trinket, you have to decide, is this trinket going to be something that is worth upgrading for all of the different types of gameplay that you do? If it's a single target trinket, that single target trinket might not do so well in Mythic Plus. So you have to decide, is that worth committing your crests into or the other way around. If it's an AOE trinket and you use it pretty much exclusively in Mythic Plus, how is that going to um, work for you in raid? Is it going to be worth spending those points? So let's say I was unsure on that and I didn't really want to invest any crests into trinkets. We could take the next option below, which is upgrading the headpiece up to what looks like five out of six myth track and then taking the legs all the way up to six out of six myth and you can see the the difference here is pretty minor it's very very small upgrading the head and the legs together is an increase of 16,420. nice and upgrading the legs and the trinket is 16,547. so that's within margin of error that's very very close and i would say me personally, I, I think I can be a little bit more confident and feel safe upgrading these pieces of gear rather than a trinket because sometimes I might not use this trinket. But I know because these pieces are tier pieces, I will always have these items equipped and I will always be gaining the benefits of spending these crests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do these upgrades. Put the head in first and we're going to take it up one upgrade to five out of six. Bam. And then the legs and take up all the way to six out of six and there we go now i'm huge okay so there you go that is just a quick rundown on how you can assess which upgrades you should be making each and every week with the crests that you're getting if you want to learn more about simming like i said at the start of the video i put out a guide video on simming starting from the very basics going up into a bit more of uh, advanced topics and concepts that video will be linked down in the description as well as in the pinned comment. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments as well. I will try to answer them the best way that I can. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.